Blood and Truth is a new upcoming PlayStation VR game. You get to experience a story which is as close to an action movie as you can kind of get in VR. Uh, you play Ryan Marks, who is a Special Forces soldier who's returning back to his childhood home in London to protect his family from a ruthless criminal gang. We're huge action movie fans here, so we wanted the main character who could handle themselves, but was also massively against the odds, and that's, that's what puts him in these situations like jumping out of collapsing buildings or fighting off assault helicopters from, uh, from the top of an open-top car racing through London. If it's been in an action movie, we've either done it or we thought about doing it. Oh, shit! The London Heist, uh, which was obviously a part of PlayStation VR Worlds, was very much kind of almost like a proof of concept for uh, Blood and Truth. I think, you know, if, if the London Heist was kind of like our love letter to Guy Ritchie and the Guy Ritchie kind of movies, Blood and Truth is much more our love letter to action movies. London is a fantastic setting for any game, but especially in VR, because we go from these kind of top-end hotels, casinos, businesses, but then we can also get right down into these kind of derelict tower blocks, the seedy back streets, the dark alleyways, and it really delivers the grit and glamour that we wanted in the game. Perhaps one of the more surprising things uh, of virtual reality storytelling is you kind of anticipate with VR that it's really good at spectacle, and it is really good at doing spectacle. You know, you know, I think we proved that at loads of points within the game. But what's perhaps more surprising, was more surprising for me as a, as a writer, was that actually VR is really good at doing intimate stuff as well. When you are kind of like crouched behind some cover, taking pot shots, reloading, physicality you have there is something that just no other video game gives you. And because of that, it just it just immerses you in a way that makes you feel like an action hero in a way like nothing ever has before. I, I think that's what I love about it the most, is um, you're not just watching it on the screen, you're actually there in the center of the action. Everything's going on around you, and that's what's so powerful about VR. For the players.